Daniel is Chris on the guitar. This is how we do it on Zero Pressure every week. But today we have some special guests on the show that they're going to enlighten us with what they do for a living. And it's all about Zero Pressure. But before we do that today, my very good friend Esther Ozbizla is going to come on stage today again and give us some, some very, very good topics to talk about. You know, please, General, to welcome Esther on the show, please. Thank you. Hello, Esther. How are you? Hello, Chris. How are you? Good to see you, as always. Um, You're looking very good. Try to copy you. Oh, thank you very much. Please have a set. <laughs> good, Esther. As you all know, viewers, for those of you who are coming in for the first time, being part of a studio audience, uh, Esther always comes in every week on the show uh, for this season to give us a lot of topic in this topic and things that are very, very uh, important to us. So today, Esther will enlighten us on more topics. Today. Am I right, Esther? I know. Good stuff. So what do you have for us today? Um... Um, three days ago, I, something caught my glance on my blog. Good. They said some attitude girlfriend shouldn't do in front of her boyfriend. Okay. Uh, so and what should, should they do, if I may ask the question? So no, see, I read through. All right. They said farting. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't fart in front of your partner. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, who wrote this? Good. Because nobody has a control over fat. <laughs> I remember I was in front of my boyfriend one time, mm. and we, we are discussing a very important topic, mm. and I feel like farting like mad. <laughs> and I was holding, and my belly was protruding out. Oh God, yeah. And I was, and he said, what's wrong with you? You okay, sir? I said, I'm fine. Let, I will see you in a minute. Could you believe before I reached the door, it was <laughs> And he, eventually, he heard me. Why wouldn't I do it in the first place so, with him? So, so which means? Men are saying that women shouldn't. That should be ruled out. Okay. I supported like twin. You said you shouldn't chew ching gum. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't talk too much. Mm -hmm. Talking too much. Do you think that makes sense? Well, I don't know. Uh, they said problem shares is problem solving, eh? True. They said you shouldn't talk too much. Wow. So yeah. when I, if you my boyfriend, and next time I see you, I would be like, hmm. <laughs> and I'll be asking, what's wrong with you? What's the problem? Then we have to talk then. Mm -hmm. Then why should they put, uh, don't talk too much among what you don't do in front of your partner. Well, it's a hard topic to really look at, you know, because I, I feel people should be able to be, I mean, they should be free to tell the topic, be able to express what they feel like about one person or the other, whatever it is, you know, even in, in a relationship. That's it. Esther, we leave that. What's the next topic we have today? Uh, it's just, we have to help our community. True. It's very, very important. And how, how are we going to help? I have a friend in Tala. Hmm. This lady, she work as a cleaner in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Then she, she normally go to the children's hospital, take a container, beg for money, mm -hmm. then all the African people, they always laugh at her, like, oh, look at her, she's a beggar. Oh, maybe she's assaulting the money. Mm -hmm. You know what happened last year? No, she no. was at home, mm -hmm. the, labor, the labor party mm -hmm. knocked at her door. The next thing she called me, mama, I'm pooing. I said, why are you poo poo? What <laughs> happened to you? <laughs> ah, the labor do, people just left now. They said they'd be deliberating. They chose them as the representative for Tala Southwest. Wow. And she's a cleaner. Come on, come on. A big applause for that. That's what about. Because yeah. she always helps people in the hospital. Mm. She collects money. She does charity everywhere. Mm. At the end of the day, she sits with the Minister for Justice now. Mm -hmm. She sits with the Pat Rabbit. Everybody, they dine and wine together. Mm. So whatever you do in life, you might not get money from it mm -hmm. immediately. Whatever you do in life, it might be positive, negative, but... Nothing you do in life that has no That's true. side so effects. So, in other words, we should be more committed to our community. Help the elderly people. Do whatever you can to support your community. Yes, help the, uh, do shopping for them. Mm -hmm. Those elderly people in your neighborhood, go to them. Can I help you with shopping? Can I help you with uh, laundry? I mean, so whatever. So I so mean, so be so friendly. So love so your good. neighbor. Good. I mean, try to be involved in mm. all activities. Mm. Don't say because I'm black. No, 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 no. We don't know all these white people are watching us. That's what happened to that lady. Mm. She's been doing it for two years. Nobody, she's doing it for fun, like, not knowing people are watching her. Mm. So someone is watch watching us here today. <laughs> it's, it's not only God, it's not only God, the community are watching us <laughs> as well. True. That's true, Esther. <laughs> Please give it up one more time for Esther. Thank you very much, Esther, as always. We'll be right back after this as we have some special guests with us on the show. So don't go nowhere as we're going to have Miss. Nine, Miss Island 2015, she's going to be here with us till, till today. Mrs. Island 2015 is going to be right here with us, which is Natalie Quinn. And we're going to have people parties 
um, Julie Kennel is going to be here with us on the show. And Wonderful Island upcoming actors and actresses are all going to be right here on the show. So stay tuned for more of this. We'll be right back. Thank you. Come on. Thank you, guys. Give Rob one time for Esther. Thank you. That's how we're on the show. Please join us and welcome Island US movie actors and actresses. Friendship Live on the show. Thank you, Rob. Hello, hi, Melissa. Good to hi. see you. Good to see you. Hello, good to see you guys. Yes, good to see you. Please have a seat, please. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Oh, welcome to the show. Okay. Guys, these are the castle for Friendship Live, guys. Please give it up one more time for, for these guys on the show. Melissa, so my very good friend. Good to yeah, see you on the hi, show. Nice to good see to see you, you guys. You. So we Hello. start by the name. What's the name? Jonathan. And we are Vanessa. Vanessa. And, and myself is Walter. Walter. Good stuff, guys. Welcome to the show. Appreciate your time for, for being here with us. Guys, tell yeah. us about friend, Friendship Live. How did it all happen? First. Well, I received a call from Jonathan, and he had an idea that, okay, the youth here, we don't really have much going on, usually, and especially African, kind of Irish youth. So he thought maybe um, creating a group mm -hmm. um, of actors would be an interesting thing to do. And then um, he got me involved, and I got there, and I started directing it. Mm -hmm. So we were talking of, we got different ideas. So basically it is, um, we are ma making a series. It's a mm -hmm. TV series, but on, right now it's online only. But uh, it's a TV series that we're doing. And then um, we obviously have different topics, but for the moment we're just talking about influence, like how the um, youth and um, people are easily influenced by their environment and their friends. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's basically it. And then right. uh, we have, we've been acting and we've got our first episode that's out already. Yes, yes. And it's been going on well mm -hmm. so far. So good. So good, yeah. <laughs> Can you want to give us more insight of this whole inspiration? Um, first thing. What comes into your mind for you to decide to say, I, I think it is time for us to, to do something in society, especially yeah. youths, young people, here in Ireland, you know, bring something more different into society. Mm -hmm. What comes into your mind? How did you just kind of come up with an idea? Yeah, well, first of all, like, this is something I always wanted. So I always want to be an actor, I always want to do music, all those kind of stuff, just to entertain people. So I was thinking, like, maybe I should, like, get all my friends together, maybe come out come out with something that will entertain people mm. and change lives, like, you know, yeah. So that's how we all started. Uh, yeah, that's all. Awesome. So you guys are friends. Yeah. yeah. So friends then kind of, yeah. uh, I think that's where you kind of give, up the, give the name as friends. Yeah, friendship. friendship, friendship like, like, yeah. Very yeah. good, guys. So yeah. in terms of the series, how are you guys walking around it? How, like, you know, Highlanders, you all know very well. Yeah. We're also trying to kind of get there, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of movies, music, mm -hmm. varieties of different things. Mm -hmm. So, what is the plan behind this friendship for life? How do you guys want to go ahead with this? Well, well, we're planning to, okay, get it international. Well, first, we have to start nationally. Sure, <laughs> but sure. we're planning to bring it to Africa, different kinds of countries in Europe, mm. and um, yeah, and evolve into something greater. But because I've studied acting, you know, so I'm a professional actress. I've been doing, um, say, theaters mm. in the past. That's why they contacted me because I'm, I yeah, know I'm what I'm doing. That area, yeah, so you're yeah. To put your own path yes. into it. Good. Yeah. So uh, we've been doing that, and the plan is that okay, since they are beginners, they've been doing great. Like they've been acting like professional. People don't even know they were not professionals before that. Mm. But now well, they are. People start from somewhere. Of course, yeah, no, they got good training because <laughs> we've done a lot of improvisation classes, different classes, and you know, everything I learned, I tried to put it out there. Mm. So I, I did my best to direct it the best I could. Mm. And um, yeah, so they, they look like professionals, but they're acting like professionals. So they, the main series is looking good so far. And um, we're planning to have a film, a movie. Because this is a series that we're doing. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like we've got the first episode out, and there's still two more episodes to come. Wow. Yeah, so, and after that, we're going to have a, a bigger movie, mm -hmm. kind of like a film, oh, a proper film. And we're hoping that the film will go international, beyond, yeah. Because yeah, 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 this right. is, yeah, it's kind of a trial. Okay. We, you know, we just wanted to see the reaction of the audience. We wanted to see how people will receive it. And so far, everyone loves it. Like Irish people and Congolese people. And All like, different nationalities. Yeah, different nationalities. nationalities. And we're quite surprised, actually. We're quite surprised because we weren't even expecting that. Okay. But we got a really good feedback. So. Come on, people, give it <laughs> yeah. so, 
talking about your uh, character involving younger guys. So, can you give us a little bit more break breakdown about it? Your characters. Yes. For example, I'm playing a girl that is um, well brought up. She's into a, a, like she's um, a tween and she's got her parents around her. So good education and you know at home and like everything that was meant to bring her into a better future, like mm -hmm. a brighter future. Mm -hmm. But her character started up good, obviously, but it's, it's literally a good girl gone bad mm -hmm. because of her boyfriend and because of her, her, like her friends mm -hmm. around her. So literally, the girl was influenced mm -hmm. and um, she turned bad, kind of. She started doing evil things and, you know. And that could be you, because I was watching a clip where... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, th yeah, that was me. That... He was like, okay, you want to get a job or yeah, you get a job, yeah. like that. And you know? before she, would, like, she was hesitant, but because she was in love as well, see, we see that, okay, obviously, um, love is blind, and mm -hmm. because of love, you can do things and all that. So we're kind of showing different aspects of life mm -hmm. that is real, you know, mm -hmm. realistic. And we went from there. We want to educate mm -hmm. in the same time. We want people to feel like, okay, you know, I, th this could be me. And, uh, okay, you know, mm -hmm. to take something personal out of it. It's not just to entertain. Mm -hmm. It's also to, and as well, we want other people to feel like, okay, they can do it because we are doing it. They were not professional actors, but now they're out there doing it. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a message of hope as well to those who want to do something. It's never late. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to go to college or whatever to do it, but you can just try your best and see from people who know true, and true. learn from each other. I think, for, sorry to cut the show down that one. No, that's life, everybody. Please <laughs> exactly. give up more time. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So give us a home before we go or before you go. Can you tell us your website so people can go out and look at it for you? All right, and uh, we're on YouTube and we're also on Facebook. So yes. if you type Friendship Life, mm -hmm. you can find us on Facebook and on Instagram. It's Friendship Life Movie. Good. And uh, Shemin is Artiste as well. That's a UK kind of. French. Yeah. French. Yeah, so it's out there as well. So we're kind of pushing it. Good stuff, different good stuff, good stuff. Guys, thank you very much for coming. We'll give it up one more time for them. Thank we'll be right back after this. After we have a couple of people from the show. Thank you, guys. Thank you for coming on the show. Please join me to welcome Hip Hop Hafiz, Jaden, and on the show, please. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Good to see you. Good We're to doing see the you. French Good way, to be here. It? Yeah, French way. <laughs> Good to, to be here. Good to see you. Yeah. We're talking all the time, all the time. We yeah. never get to meet each other. Today yeah, I know. Here. Yeah, it's crazy. It's good to be here. <laughs> good, good, good. So, you know what? Come to, to the Jerry question. This is how we do it. You know, being a songwriter, a singer, mm -hmm. yourself, you've done a lot of more music-wise, you know, entertaining. So, give us more insight. What's happening? How are you getting on? Um, yeah, um, well, I've been doing music for a long time now. I started off really young. And mm. um, first of all, I got into, like, doing sh uh, shows. And then I started doing competitions. Mm -hmm. And then that progressed to recording music and collaborating with different artists mm -hmm. in the UK and in Ireland. Mm -hmm. So um, right now I'm just working on some new music and an EP that I'm, and a video that I'm going to be dropping very soon. Very soon. Yeah, so. So. Can, you, uh, can you give us a little bit more on uh, how you started? I know you started, like what age did you start? It? That's a, you yeah. Know, you started when you were very, very small. And yeah, like that, I know? started when I was like that yeah, high. Little, little baby, so. I just love to sing like all the time. Like cool. I just... I, I would say to my parents, I just want to be a singer, that, that's wow. it. Wow. So um, they put me in shows and mm -hmm. then I was doing that for years and years and as I got older I was like, you know, I really want a career in this. I really want to do this proper. So I started mm -hmm. entering competitions and uh, auditions and all over like London for different stuff. Yeah. And um, that was it really, I just got into it and started recording and I released some music before and some videos and mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I really admire you, you the guys here in Ireland, especially um, when you look at the mu mu music scene, it, it mm -hmm. is really struggling, you know, and yeah. I hope, and I hope, and very soon, we are going to, you know, work to, to get together to really lift, lift it up, you know, it, it costs you guys a lot of money to produce this thing, Yes, you know? a lot for studio time, mm -hmm. for printing out of your, your CDs, mm -hmm. or just for everything, really, it costs, like, people don't really, they don't realize how much, how much work and how much it costs to to be in the music industry totally. and you know you you've got to keep at it like and true, just yeah true, true and that's true people you need to all support an island musical artist i tell you the truth because these guys are doing really really great i'm just back from 
uh, London this this morning, and I can tell you there's a lot of things happening out there, mm -hmm. and we need to start doing our own thing right here in Ireland. Yeah, I, I agree completely, you know, yeah. So, yeah. So that's one thing. So you, tell us a bit more about your music. I know I've listened to your music. I've seen your stuff. I've seen your work. So I mm -hmm. like my viewers and see the audience to be able to enjoy more of what you do. So yeah. give us a breakdown of your type of music you do. Um, the music I do is R&B. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up listening to Brandy, Mariah, TLC, wow. Destiny's Child, all that. That's my passion, R&B music. Mm -hmm. I also do a little bit of rap as well. Wow. But I've recorded many genres. Like I, um, I recorded a dance track mm -hmm. that I released on iTunes, and I was also featured on a funky house track as well. So I'll sing a lot of music, lot of music but my, my style of music would mm -hmm. be like R&B, rap, love hip-hop. Everything. Well, that's, that's that's my that's it. yeah. We that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, other than music, what other things would you do other than music? Um, <laughs> um I love fashion. Good. Uh, good. I'm interested in that. I do a little bit of modeling for um, a vintage clothes mm -hmm. store online. Mm -hmm. So that's I like for yeah. Them, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <you> so <laughs> I love my my vintage retro kind of fashion, sure. and um, I also like. What, chilling? <laughs> <laughs> Hanging out with friends. Yeah, um, you know, the usual. Your, yeah, it's just your music, music wise. Is it, um, is it something you do, say, Monday to Friday, or would it be? I'm know, always writing. On the full time, yeah. Yeah, I do it full time. Mm -hmm. I'm always writing. I'm always like in, like, record, trying to record as much as I can. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, listening to beats, you mm -hmm. know, just. And you've probably all the different artists here in Ireland and you have your case. Yeah, you sure. A couple, couple of artists. You've yeah, artists. I've worked. Yeah, there's um, one up and coming artist actually. He's from Ireland as well. His name is Kyron. Mm -hmm. um, Austin Hill. Mm -hmm. He's brilliant. I've been collaborating with him. Okay. And other artists in London actually that I've been working with. I've got some stuff coming out this summer. Great so. stuff. Great stuff. We're looking forward to that. We're looking forward. Mm -hmm. You're talking about your IT and you have a lot of music on IT. So when people go in there, they'll be able to see more of your kind of music. Um, yeah, I've got a single on iTunes. It's a dance song. It's mm -hmm. called Reason. Mm -hmm. um, if you go to iTunes and type in my name, it should come up. <laughs> yeah, Julie Canan. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I've got YouTube videos on YouTube as well, mm -hmm. and I've got my SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. All my music will be on my SoundCloud, so that's mm -hmm. probably the best place to hear everything that I've good done. Stuff, good yeah. stuff. Yeah. And while you're doing that, your kind of music will it be like more kind of a? You say you have a dance music, so people can like mm -hmm. use that for like exercising and what. Yeah, kind of sure. Things, you know. Yeah. So viewers, you need to go look at that. I've listened to it, but that's why I'm going to give you a little bit tips. So yeah. <laughs> go, go check that out. Can too. listen to it anytime you're in in the bath. Cool. So, <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your new musical video that is going to be out. What, 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 yeah. what that is all about? I've got a new um, rap song out. It's called Lioness. Mm. And um, I've got a clip of it on my SoundCloud. Okay. It's, only, it's only a little it's snippet. A yeah, just to kind of give people an idea of what's coming. Mm -hmm. I've shot some of the video already mm -hmm. and I have to finish it off. So that should be out. I'm awesome. hoping, like, in the no, next few weeks. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. Sure. So, Don't and that, that, that along with an EP called Not Your Average Chick, that's going to awesome. be coming out too. Awesome. So, awesome. Listen, it's a pleasure to have Thank you. Thank you very Please much. One more time for Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back after this as we have one special guest on the show, all the way from the UK. I won't give that away until she is right here on the studio. So, we'll be right <laughs> back. One more time. Come in. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As you all know, today we have a special guest with us on the show. Please jump to welcome Mrs. Island, Natal Queen on the show. Thank you. <laughs> Good to see you. Mwah. Mwah. I always <laughs> like my French kisses, you know. Welcome to the show. Please have a seat. Thank you. Thank you for coming all the way from the UK. Great pleasure to have you today. It's nice to be here, so thank you for inviting me on the show today. You're welcome. You're welcome. So tell us about the journey for you to achieve this crown as a piece now. Well, at the minute, it's been the most amazing experience and rewarding experience um, of my pageant career. Mm. I mean, I have to do say that the Ireland pageant system is one of the best that I've been involved in. Well, come on, give it up. Give it, come on, come on, come on. That's really good. We love that. You know, from your career background, because I read through some of your, you know, your history and all of those information you send us, you know, what is a challenge that you face, you know, to be able to, to come on your feet and, you know, achieve it and be where you are today? What are the challenges? Well, to be honest, I don't have that many challenges, right, to, to face. Mm. I mean, if you're talking about my history in the sense, right, that what have I done with my career regarding pageants, yeah. 
Then I started in 2009 mm -hmm. and achieved 12 titles. I've raised £2,000 um, for Cancer Research UK. Mm -hmm. I promote um, the Irish Heart Foundation and a very worthwhile charity called um, K Consultancy. Mm -hmm. What they do is um, they go out into the community and help vulnerable people. And they also try and educate the, um, the elderly, you know, things like IT skills, how to use your phone, mm. things like that, because a lot of people over the age of, say, 50, 60, are being kind of pushed out and not able right, to get into work. Mm. And um, so we go online and we promote it mm -hmm. and try to get people to donate um, computer equipment right. to help them people out in the community. So mm. that can be a challenge in itself. Sure, sure. But me, I take everything in my stride and just go with the flow. Bring it on, girl. That's how we do it. <laughs> <laughs> And um, I was watching some of your uh, iLife profile there on the, um, on the uh, pad parties there up in Ireland, I mean, in the UK, UK, UK. What was like, you know, the welcoming of you then, you know? That was amazing. Um, you're on the um, St. Patrick's Day Parade. Yes. Um, that was on the 15th um, of March, March in, yeah. um, even though it's on the 17th. Yeah. Um, they held it in Leeds um, on the 15th of March. Mm. It was fantastic. Right. I was treated like a true queen. I, I actually that. also introduced um, my winner, because I run my own um, company called um, Miss, Irish, Miss Irish Heart mm -hmm. International. My winner's actually in the audience today, Stephanie well, Rees. Stephanie, yeah. Go, you know what Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? <laughs> Yeah, come on. Come on. Big round of applause. Come on. <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh. <laughs> it's part of the fun. Please have a seat there. Come on. Good to see you. So talk us through. Go on. Yeah. Well, I run a, um, a charity for um, um, at the Irish Heart Foundation. Yeah. And so we like to try and raise as much um, publicity and awareness, right, for, for that cause. It's quite close to my heart. Hmm. This young lady here, yeah. right, she um, won my pageant and um, she's done an amazing job um, so far. Hmm. She's, um, she's always promoting her causes, always out there. She's raised money for Africa. She's just always doing, you know, always doing her thing. So it was my pleasure to, you know, bring her out there to um, Leeds and, um, and get her some promotion and introduce her to the world as my first Miss Irish Heart. I am extremely proud of her. Today she had a fantastic day. Had a glamorous photo shoot by Robert Kelly, who's also the, um, the photographer. <laughs> Who was also the photographer um, for Ireland Pageants, who was run by um, Jenny Lynch. Mm. It's just altogether been um, fantastic, but it's not always fun and games. True, true. I mean, there's a lot of people in Ireland right, who believe right, that pageants right, shouldn't actually run. Mm. Uh, and I don't agree with that at all. This, it, what we do isn't about slapping on loads of makeup on your face or being a size eight. Mm. It's about promoting confidence, right? going out there and having a good time. Mm -hmm. And if you can promote a worthwhile cause, like a charity in the process, mm -hmm. then why not? I mean, we're not hurting anybody and people need to see it out there and that we're not doing anything bad, we're doing a very good thing. Yeah, we want to say a big thank you for coming on the show. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much. Please give them one, one more time for them. Don't go nowhere. Uh, this is where we leave it on the Jerry Quest show. But before we go, we want to say a big thank you to all the guests. Please give them one more time for Friendship Live that was on the show. Please, thank you. Come on, show some love. Songwriter Julie, Julie Han as well. Thank you. <laughs> and to my very wonderful guest with me right here on set. Please give it up one more time for Miss Tyler Two for Thing. Thank you. And I want to say a big thanks to all my viewers at home. You're tuning in to watch the show. But before we give that away, I want to say a big thanks to all my beautiful audience. Come on, make some noise. Thank you. to make this show a reality. I want to say thank you, Lord. A lot of pressure going on right now, but thank God that we made it, you know? So big thank you to all our viewers, you know, tuning in to watch the show. Every time, every week, tune in to the Jerry Kershaw at www.